What's up everybody? My name is Zach Moikasa, the Black Warrior. I am the most vicious puncher Africa has ever known. We are in Johannesburg, South Africa. We are currently heading to Yeovil. Yeovil is a very interesting place where you find a lot of African nationals. Ghanaian, Nigerians, Zimbabweans, Congolese, Ugandans and more. Very vibrant place, very busy area. So we are going to see what's up in Yovel, and I'm taking you with me. Let's go. We have arrived in Yeovil, very interesting place you will notice. Uh, we had to find a parking lot, a very you know, secure place. Unfortunately, you have to secure your car, make sure it's safe, guarded with security guards, or else uh, somebody might try to break in. I know it's not very nice to hear, but that's the reality. And we have to deal with reality the way reality is. Yeovil, many, many years ago, used to be a Jewish area. As you can see, this is a synagogue. A synagogue is a Jewish church. Okay, now it's not a synagogue anymore. It's a Christian church. Now it's become a Christian church, a evangelical church. So you will notice uh, the infrastructure is very different. Uh, the Jewish don't live here anymore. It's mostly a lot of uh, black people like myself. Um, Yovel many years ago used to be a very clean, very proper, very neat area. It's not that clean anymore. There are still maybe one or two or three Jews hiding here and there, but you won't see them. Congo. Bonjour. Ça va? Yeah, this is like a lot of Congolese here. You know, they do business, they trade, they do so many things, try to take care of their families, you know. Trying not to do legal things, selling, you know, you, many have left the country, they come here trying to make a living. So, a decent, normal living. They sell, uh, what do you call it? Canned food, they sell Congolese food, they sell all sorts of things, uh, trying to make a living. As you can see, come, as you can see. Bonjour. Ah, Mpaka. Boni. Mbote. Mbote. Champions. 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 My man. How are you doing? I'm okay, man. You big man. Yo, yo, yo. All I see on the video today, I see my life. Good to see you, Jimmy. Yeah. Yeah. This is a big man. Come and see the big man now. So. This is a champion. <laughs> this is a champion. <laughs> champion. This is a big champion. The biggie. We got him today. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is a big man. Come on. 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 We're very happy. So, like I said, this used to be a synagogue, it used to be a, a Jewish synagogue. It's not anymore. Uh, it's occupied by African nationals that do business here. You can see our brothers from, from the Congo, DRC. Uh, so, probably this is your brother. Look at them. <laughs> so, you are welcome. I'm happy to see them. You are welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Congo, DRC. DRC. How long have you been to South Africa? Now is it 20 years. 20 years Santa. in South Africa. Yeah. How is life here? South Africa is a nice country. If you know to do something, you can have also some money. Sometimes it's fine, sometimes it's down, only like this. Original ginger beer. You know, if you have issues with your back and issues with, you know. Huh? <laughs> so, what does this do? It's because tell, tell my people, what does this do? This, this ginger is for powerful men, it gives you power. He helping for body, for a bag, a pen. Uh, kidney also. 
kidneys, what's the killing killing kidneys. <laughs> what, what's power? What, what do you mean power? Power for men. Pa uh, uh, please explain. If you yeah. are married in uh. your room, in the bed, you become strong. This makes you strong. Make sure okay. when you drink, mm. you gonna be fine. Everything is okay. Thank you so much, <laughs> my brother. You're welcome. I'm, uh, I'm, my name is Madu. Madu. Zach. Nice yes, to meet sir. you. Happy. Thank you Happy so to much. see you. Take care. All right, let's go. This is a Congolese lady. She is a um, restaurant owner. She's done a good job for the Congolese community in Johannesburg, especially in Yovo. A lot of them come eat here when they're hungry. You know, it's always good. As much as you can eat any other food, it's always good to eat food from home. Zandu, how are you? <laughs> so, please tell us, how long have you been to South Africa? How long have you been to South Africa? How long have you been to South Africa? I've been to South Africa 18 years. How is business? It's fine. You, the family is fine? Family is fine, the kid is fine, my husband is fine. Okay, we could have gone to a fancy place. No, we're here. It's not fancy, it's not luxurious. It's simple. It's a lady who is somebody's sister trying to make a living for her family. So for those who don't know, this is how you eat fufu. In South Africa, they call it pap. You sort of make a bowl with it. It takes years of experience to do this. It looks very easy, but it's not that easy. Then you separate it. Then you dip it into the fumbo. You make a little hole in between, then you... Mm. Lovely. Now, typically Africans eat together. They sit around, they share a plate. It's not like everybody with their own plate. No. That's very selfish. That is something we've learned with time, with colonization. We need to say that. Africans in their nature, they eat together like this. With their hand. You know, it promotes it promotes togetherness, it promotes brotherhood. You know, when you eat with somebody like this, even when you have issues with him, you are forced to deal with the issue. You are forced to discuss about it. The difficulties you have, you don't take it home with you. You talk to him, brother, you're sitting right next to me, we eat it together. I wasn't happy about A, B, C, D, and you find a solution. That was the whole purpose of everything. Now, this is Adrian, our cameraman from Uganda, indulging himself in Congolese food. Look at him, look how happy he is. <laughs> nice, how is it? Mama, bonjour. Bonjour. Bon, comment ça, ça va? Hein? Ça va bien. So this is called Take. this is ah huh? turkey, turkey, yeah. turkey meat. We call it dendon, dendon in the Congo. Turkey. This is uh, it's a um, it's a delight for a lot of Congolese people from Kinshasa. It's something they eat every single day. It's a turkey pot, and um, the lady's obviously doing what she has to do. This man saw me when I was. Very young, huh? this man right here. But you know, the world is very small. Anyway, but but now I can pick him up. This young lady is from uh, the Congo. Uh, yeah, but I was naturally born here. You're so. born in South Africa. Yeah, Great. so okay, so you both, you sort of both, right? Uh huh. Legally, I'm from Congo, but but, but culturally, born. I'm from Congo. Cool. So, how's the life for you here? Life, yeah. Okay, technically the life is good, mm -hmm. but then it comes with technology and it's not compared to Congo. Okay. But then, yeah, with education, it's advanced. Um, um, what else? What else do you want to add? Yeah, that's all about South Africa. Well, it's very nice. As you can see, the young lady is very bright. Uh, we're very happy. Hello, how are you? 
So this is an Ethiopian restaurant. Uh, it is very clean. Good, how are you my brother? Good. What do we have? This is our first time. Yes. We're going to indulge ourselves into this beautiful plate. Unfortunately, I don't eat any red meat. So my brothers here will have the honor of eating the Ethiopian food. Bon appetit. Ethiopians help each other very, very much. They are very united, they work together in foreign countries. So in South Africa, whenever an Ethiopian comes, from what I understand, Ethiopians help him get settled. They give him some funds, some money to start a business. And once he starts his business, he can, begin paying, he, can be, he can begin paying the money back slowly, reimbursing very slowly. And that's what makes the strength of Ethiopian as a nation. They are very united. They were never colonized. For those of you who don't know, their shop is very clean. I must say that. And it's just uh, a fresh insight into their community. Now oh guys, this is Yovel for you, Yovel by night. Yovel by night. Not like any other place in Johannesburg. You know, you don't even know in what period of time we are in. People are working, they're busy. Ladies are selling. <laughs> Most Africans have the same problems, same difficulties, same social issues. So as much as people are different from their origin or from where they come from, we are very similar because we have the same issues, same difficulties. We all just want to be happy.